Question 154. You have been asked to set up object lifecycle management for objects stored in storage buckets. The objects are written once and accessed frequently for 30 days. After 30 days, the objects are not read again unless there is a special need. The objects should be kept for three years, and you need to minimize cost. What should you do? A. Set up a policy that uses nearline storage for 30 days and then moves to archive storage for three years. B. Set up a policy that uses standard storage for 30 days and then moves to archive storage for three years. C. Set up a policy that uses nearline storage for 30 days, then moves the cold line for one year, and then moves to archive storage for two years. D. Set up a policy that uses standard storage for 30 days, then moves to cold line for one year, and then moves to archive storage for two years. Now take 10 seconds to think about the answer. Correct answer is B. The key to understand the requirement is, the objects are written once and accessed frequently for 30 days. Standard storage. Standard storage is best for data that is frequently accessed, hot data, and or stored for only brief periods of time. Archive storage. Archive storage is the lowest cost, highly durable storage service for data archiving, online backup, and disaster recovery. Unlike the coldest storage services offered by other cloud providers, your data is available within milliseconds, not hours or days. Archive storage is the best choice for data that you plan to access less than once a year. You have been asked to set up object lifecycle...